Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and the plan is to do just one video per day since it's going to be a really busy uh, uh, production schedule uh, this year for my comics. But occasionally, when situation dictates, I will do another video. Like, I was just about to head out and I was like, I can't go out. I'm not going to be able to think about anything while I'm running errands except for this. So, um, before we start, <laughs> uh, pandemic and do as you're told, getting out to people all over the world. I love collections like this where you get to see all the different stuff that they buy. Um, this one is awesome. This guy was showing me this all while he was developing it. He did a, a bust of a, a 3D print of cuffs that just looks freaking amazing. That looks so cool. Um, nice pistol, Jawbreakers, God King. Thanks for sending that in. So, um, just as I was about to head out, somebody sent me, you know, they forwarded, you know how on Indiegogo and Kickstarter when there's an update, if you're a backer, you'll get this email. I used to have problems with it. When I would put like uh, photos, it would like stretch them or they would look all crazy. Uh, but I haven't had that problem for a while. <laughs> um, but um, some people, <laughs> like, there's some campaigns I follow where I get an update like every day. It's like, hey buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need one every single day. Speaking of which, I'm late on my monthly ones. So I usually I update things monthly, but if I'm j like just about to hit another benchmark, I'll wait, you know, and, and like ah, a couple more days and I'll have something more interesting to say. So they sent me this, but it was all kind of in a wonky forwarded uh, email. So I said, hey, can you do a screenshot? And then I went to the Kickstarter and it's a public update and you're going to be shocked. Because, wow, before I start, a couple things need to get out. I've been late on many of my Indiegogo campaigns. I would say the majority of them. And I'm late on two right now. I'm late on Expendables to Go to Hell. I'm late on Jawbreakers Grand Bazaar. Um, $4.99 book one isn't due out until April of next year. <laughs> so, oh no, of this year. So I'm doing good. I've been late. It happens. Unfortunately, uh, like a month or so ago, or no, a couple weeks ago when I was launching 499 Book One, you know, you see here I've got 15 projects and I've delivered, uh, what, like 13 of, or 11 of them? So I said like, you know, hey, <laughs> you're gonna get it. Now it was a flippant joke relating to kind of like the early days of me having uh, an Indiegogo and other people where the usual suspects are like, this book will never be produced. It will never be sent out to you. Now, eventually, like 10, 10, you know, fulfilled projects later and two years later, they don't say that. Um, but it was kind of like this reference to that. But then it came off as me saying like, ha ha, your book's late. Sucks to be you, which I didn't mean. So sorry about that. Um, so what I'm trying to say is I'm not perfect. And I also kind of tried to, I actually, I legitimately checked to see if this was a bit. You know how you have those like theme restaurants where the waitresses are really sassy? I was like, is this like a bit she's doing where she just like degrades the backers? I'm like, no, it just... Okay, so let's just jump right into it. So this is Madi, a sci-fi graphic novel by Duncan Jones, Alex DeCampi, and some of the best artists in comics. Um, so it's it's like a sequel kind of to <laughs> two of his sci-fi movies, Moon and... I forget the other one, but you see that it's good. It's good art. It's an anthology. Eh, what you gonna do? It did good. Sixty-eight hundred backers, uh, three hundred three hundred sixty-six thousand dollars. So, um, right here, post-holiday. Where's my book update from today? Hey everyone. First things first. Some of you going where's my book didn't actually pay your backer kit shipping, so your book hasn't been sent. Oh. Ah, uh, uh, sorry there, first sergeant. Uh, prayed with that, that. What? Who are you talking to like this? First things first? You're not their boss. <laughs> okay, so, well, first things first. So, when you do backer kit, and Kickstarter is different. Like, Kickstarter, you pledge, but then it doesn't take your money out until the end of the campaign which more than once in my broke days, I went overdraft on that stuff because I forgot about it. Number two, a lot of people are using backer kit, which gives you a chance to upsell you to other things, but it also delays the, uh, the shipping. So <laughs> an honest person, 
can easily be confused by this Kickstarter ordering process, especially when you add in the backer kit. So this is the part where you basically say what I just said, except for more succinctly, because you're typing and you have time to retype and you already let the dog in and you don't have to run out to a bunch of errands. Um, but uh, <laughs> so it starts off just bad. And you're just like, what's going on? There's like 200 of you. We re-invoiced all the deadbeats forward slash folks who forgot to pay for their shipping in late December around the 23rd or 24th. Excuse me, I have a question. <laughs> so you did something important financially right before everyone got distracted by the holidays. Okay. It was via Shopify, which also should remove any issues some of you might have had around Backer Kit's checkout process. Okay, so she's admitting that it is kind of wonky and it is easy to get confused. We're, we're not using Backer Kit again. So if you're like, huh, I kind of blew off my backer kit. Maybe get on paying that resent invoice so we can send you your stuff. Okay, so just a little timeout. I'm gonna use a word I've used before and somebody said, can you not use that? So I stopped using it in like the like the childish, you know, 1980s way. But I was talking to someone yesterday because they sent me this Brian Hibbs like manifesto and I go, and I'm not excluding myself. I said, I feel like everyone in the comic book industry is autistic to some degree. Like there's just so much missed social cues, you know, not reading the room type of thing. <sighs> I'm not sure I can even use that as an excuse here, uh, not to, you know, get that personal, but Alex DeCampi is part of the Whisper Network. She's basically in charge of it. If you know that name, but you've never, you're like, why do I know that name? It's because of that. She's kind of, she constantly gets work, but not, it, it's, you know, oh, it's, Kind of like, oh, it's mom says it's your turn to hire Alex DeCampi. So she does the round robin of all the companies. She's always complaining. She's very, very active, you know, in um, attacking people. It's a very, it's a, I was going to say it's very middle school. It's, it's elementary school. Um, so people are scared of her. So she has uh, not only privilege, but power of, uh, you know, people are, are scared of her flat out. It, it's, it's so weird who people are scared of. Nobody's scared of Scott Snyder. Tom King, uh, nobody's scared of Jim Lee, but they're scared of these mean girls because they know if you, if, you know, if they get you in their sights, like they're never going to give up ever. Years will go by. So she exists at this, you know, level of privilege um, that is usually reserved for royalty, essentially. Again, please don't contact anyone in this. So she goes on. Soft covers are arriving all over Europe. We've had people in England, Wales, the Netherlands, and Belgium post at having received theirs. Folks, oh geez, folks. Folks in North America should have all their soft covers too. If you haven't, it's likely because you forgot to pay your shipping via backer kit, or you bought a bundle of books and we're waiting to ship you your soft cover with the hard cover. Okay. Ah! There's a lot of ways to get confused with crowdfunding. On Indiegogo, they have a thing called donations, which is just you just giving money to people. And sometimes people get confused and they steer into the, you know, the, the donations cul-de-sac and they'll email me a year and a half later and they're like, hey, where's my book? I look it up and he's like, oh, you, you, you are not a backer, you did as donations. So I either refund them or if I still got copies and I can, you know, attach them to like the current one, I do that. But the thing is, not only is the customer always right, but it's never their fault. I have people move and then not update their address, but if I would have fulfilled on time, it would have gotten to them. So I'll, you know, I'll, I say, what's your PayPal? What's your PayPal? Let me send you a refund. I send out a lot of refunds every single month, um, hundreds of dollars of refunds a month. Sometimes for very, very old campaigns. Sometimes for Jawbreakers Lost Souls, the first one. You know, people are very patient, especially if they're overseas, you know, they're in South America. They're like, hey, um, it's kind of been a while. <laughs> and I was like, hey, yeah, if it didn't get to you, it, it just got lost somewhere. Let me give you a refund um, uh, by PayPal. Uh, there is another one where people will say like, hey, what's the deal? Like, I'm seeing people post and they're in England and they have the book and I'm in Wisconsin and I don't. That's just like a thing of like the Royal Mail is freaking amazing. Like, this is for two and a half years. This is how it gets. Um, people within like uh, 120 miles of the distribution center, the fulfillment center, 
and then England. They will get it within days, and then it'll be longer for you know Alaska and, and Guam and, and everywhere else. But uh, even just like Nebraska, it'll be later. But uh, UK just gets their stuff very very quickly. Um, so she goes on. We're still waiting for confirmation on the hardcover and deluxe books and the Kickstarter extras arriving in both the U.S. and German warehouses. As soon as we actually touch them, I don't know why she put that all in bold, we will post and let you know. We think it's going to be sometimes this week, but at this point, I'm basically... Oh my gosh. Please look at the screen. Again, not being that personal, don't contact. This, this woman is older than me. We think it's going to be sometime this week, but at this point, I'm basically shrug emoji about everything shipping related. Oh, okay. So again, please look at the screen. I'm late. I'm late. Why am I late? I, I have said this in videos. I'm choking under the pressure. Expendables go to hell is so good. My plan is to effectively never take this out of in demand. It's always going to be available because I... Truly, I feel like I know it. The word of mouth on this book is going to be amazing. This book is so, so good. Even if you haven't seen the Expendables films, you're going to love it. But I am late. I'm late because I'm choking, because I'm so excited. I'm not um, basically shrug emoji about everything shipping related. Oh, by the way, I've already paid for printing on Expendables and, and Jawbreakers. Um, oh, going on. FYI, no, we're your customers, we're not your roommate, you don't talk to us like that. You, 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 no, FYI is, is it, it can be used in lots of uh, situations, but it comes off as very passive aggressive or teenager-ish. So FYI, the disparity in delivery time between the soft covers and the hard covers is because the soft covers were printed in Canada. But the hardcovers were printed overseas because there was actually no printer in North America that had capacity to print oversized hardbacks in 2H 2020 due to COVID. Um, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say doubt on that one. So the hardback, deluxe, and Kickstarter extras all got printed in China by the same printer that printed the Wuhan virus. <laughs> That's a joke. By the same printer that printed the fucking gorgeous gorillas book for z2 and it was all fine until second wave covid hit and sea shipping just took so long ah sorry i'm just gonna let that one slide we're super happy we picked a german distributor for europe than a uk one right now gotta tell you i hate when they try to be folksy um oh it's gonna be real bad ah this is something you gotta learn, and, and Alex DeCampia has been in comics like 15 plus years. Uh, he's actually been doing crowdfunding for a while. You get yelled at sometimes. Sometimes you just get yelled at. You just get a, you just get berated, and you just you don't you don't yell back. You know what I mean? Uh, that's, oh, that's so bad. I actually the person who sent me this, who's a backer of this, I said I feel like apologizing to you. I'm not, I'm, I'm not related. I feel like I need to apologize to you for what you had to go through. So please, and again, this went out to all the backers, all of them. Meanwhile, she's already said that she's identified the 200 people that didn't pay correctly. So you can do, you can do an email just to them. Oh boy. Oh, I got a break on this one. Okay. To the, I'm not making up any of this. To the couple people whining that in this massive, fucked up, pandemic-ridden, logistical nightmare of a year, their European softcover hasn't arrived, but the book is available on Amazon UK, I would remind you a few things. Oh! Wow, ah, I apologize. If you were a Maddie backer, I, I apologize to you. I, I, I briefly considered, like, doing some sort of, like, stealth free perk for Maddie backers just but then I was like that's not fair to the people who paid but I just please accept my sincere apologies for the actions of this person uh you don't talk to customers like this like ever don't talk to I don't want people who refuse to ever buy my books to be spoken to like this I would remind you a few things number one you all beat us up to get the lowest shipping price possible 
which meant way, she actually puts three Y's in there, way slower shipping as the books had to go to a European distributor and you can't have it, ah! You know that thing where you're reading the sentence but you can see farther into the sentence? That's what just happened to me. Ah. This hurts my capitalist heart to say this. This is not me, this is her. Again, don't contact her. You can't, ha no. Okay. You can't have it both ways, friends. First of all, they're not your friends. You're treating them like dog shit. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna lose a lot of customers forever just off of this single update, not off of being late. Again, I don't want to diminish being late, but Jawbreaker's Lost Souls was like nine months late. Basically, nobody talks about that when they talk about it. It's doing very, very good on eBay, uh, the first printing. Um, and so, like, it, it people say this about The Dark Knight Returns as well. They're like, there's these large gaps in between some of the issues. Most people forget about that. People are going to forget it's late once they get it. They're very forgiving. I don't even pay attention, really. Like, once a year, I'll check. It's like, yeah, I still haven't gotten that. I still haven't gotten that Rob Liefeld book I, you know, backed. Hmm, whatever. D don't yell at them and then call them friends. Oh. Number two, you're getting a ton of Kickstarter exclusive extras you can't get on Amazon. And three, it's only, and she puts this between asterisks to, like, emphasize it, the soft cover on Amazon. We always said the soft cover would go retail. The hardcover and deluxe are Kickstarter only, with a few left from the rump end of the print run. On the Z2 web store, we were going to sell at conventions when why when we naive whatever naively thought conventions would happen again. Lastly, no, oh. Again, I want to emphasize, and this is not a bit, it's not a code, it's not secret wink. Do not contact her for any reason. This is so hard to read. At the end, she goes, Lastly, number four, I'd really like to see you do better. Please look at the screen. I'm not making that up. This, this, is, this is disgusting. This is disgusting behavior. For those of you that were home over the holidays and sent a billion emails to Z2 support and got mad that you got form letters in response, oh gosh, she's doing this numbered thing. I remind you that number one, Z2 is a small company that closes its offices for two weeks holiday over Christmas and New Year, which means number two, Rebecca, our support gal, was not working and not able to answer your queries. I think some of us have been spoiled by mainly ordering from large retailers and expecting 24 seven service even on Christmas day. We're on it. We're responding as fast as we can. Books are on their way and then doesn't even sign it off, you know, like, thanks, you know. Okay, so number one, again, not to pat myself on the back, I work every single day. One of the things people say is they're like, oh, well, you know, what if you were this, like this person and you just did like one or two, um, you know, campaigns per year, you know, you'd make more money. It's like, it, it's a trick question. I work every day regardless. So if I put out one book or six books, and again, last year, you know, the calendar year uh, 2020, that was my best year ever. And I mean, by far, it was massive. I was reading this thing, Brian Hibbs said his sales were down for his two stores like uh, 34% over 2020. My stuff was up like 34% over 2020. Yeah, I did more books, but page count, that matters and then also it's just it's like fun like the 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 best reviewed books were uh pandemic and especially do as you're told people love do as you're told and those weren't even on the schedule this, those just popped in you know because i was successful in other ones i had you know capital to reinvest in new things and just this is not a bit if you backed maddie maddie whatever however it's pronounced and you got this email i apologize to you for having to deal with this. You should never have gotten this. Occasionally, I will get a really salty email. And in my head, a salty response will come out. I don't type it out. Some people say the way to do it is to type it out and then not hit send, but you know you're gonna accidentally hit send some of the time. <laughs> so you just, it's the customer. They're, you don't know what they're dealing with. You don't know if everything in their life is falling apart 
And the one thing they were looking forward to was getting the Zack Friday sale. And then they didn't get a pinup. And they're really mad. The person, hey, the person who got the pinup who was very pleasant, I'm not talking about you. This is theoretical. <laughs> this is like the last email I answered right before. Um, uh, so, I, I don't know what to say besides I apologize. See, there's, there's no, uh, oh, there are comments. Uh, Ninja Cyborg says, wow, as someone who hasn't moaned or whined or indeed communicated anything at all and doesn't care if it's another year before the book shows up, I really didn't appreciate that aggro ridden email. Get off your high horse, mate, and don't call your customers deadbeats if you want them to come back for more. Very well said. So this other uh, super backer says, absolutely could not agree more. A very bizarre and unhelpful update. Uh, so Duncan uh, Jones uh, says, if it's any consolation to the rest of you, I also ordered a soft cover through the Kickstarter just to see how the process worked. That's a really good idea. And it took me years to realize to do that. Especially since I make the backers list, I can just put my name. Like, it took me two years to figure that out. So I get to see the condition. I get to see how much time uh, it, it comes in. It's also interesting, like, if you order, like, uh, a two-pack and then just a regular book by itself, do they come on the same day? No, they don't. They never do. Um, uh, so uh, just to see how the process worked out and still haven't received mine. We will get them, but the postal situation for little companies like Z2 is an entirely different animal from the logical logistical behemoths out there. Z2 is doing everything they can. You and I will get our books as soon as possible, Duncan. So that's what the update should have been. Uh, very truthful, honest, sincere. So anyway, yeah, I'm sorry you backers had to deal with it. God, the idea of sending it out to 6,000 people because 200 people have... Oh, God. I'm sorry. This is, I sincerely apologize to you for this. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.